While making our previous film on the BNP, we were struck at the genuine feelings of fear amongst the members that their jobs and livelihoods were under threat from mass immigration into the UK. The BNP, they felt, were the only party that was addressing this issue. But is the BNP really the nationalist party it claims to be? According to the most recent figures from the Office of National Statistics, in 2007 there was an increase of 77,000 immigrants into the UK from India, Sri Lanka and Pakistan combined, 2,000 from the Caribbean and 12,000 from the Middle East. Eclipsing these figures are the 91,000 immigrants from the European Union. Kaysa is one of these. Hi, my name is Kaysa and I work for Don't Panic. And I'm Swedish and I'm going to join the BNP. BNP claims that they are representing indigenous British people. Uh, however, it says on their website that all expat Brits and those of closely kindred European stock are welcome as members wherever you live in the world. So, so I came to uh, England and I'm working here, so I'm taking an opportunity away from a British person, uh, which the BNP is not supporting at all. But since I'm white, I'm going to see if I can join it anyway. Hello, good afternoon, British National Party. Hi, um, I just called you up to get an information pack. Right. Um, but I just wonder if um, if it's all right for me to join your party, even though I'm Swedish. Yeah, no, that's absolutely no problem at all. Okay. Um, have you already taken your name and address to one of my colleagues? Yeah, you? yeah, I've already yeah, done no that. No problem. In which case, everything will be in there for you. But yeah, that's absolutely no problem whatsoever. I can join the British National Party, even though I'm Swedish. It's amazing. So I've just been to the job centre here in Islington to apply for a job seekers allowance and they told me that I can get it. And I'm Swedish so that will make me a foreigner living off the UK state. Next we went to see our British friend Sonny. Hi, I'm Sonny, I'm British, I've lived here all my life and uh, today I'm going to attempt to join the BNP. My mum's white British uh, and my dad's Indian, he's uh, lived in India for six months before coming over here, which makes me British and the BNP have a policy for British jobs for British workers and I'm short of work right now as a photographer and it sounds like a great idea to me. Membership is strictly defined within the terms of the legal ambit of a defined racial group, this being Indigenous Caucasian. As I'm half Indian, I don't completely fit in. Welcome to the British National Party. To speak to the membership department or to renew your membership, press 3. Hello? Hi there. Um, I just uh, wanted to uh, apply for membership, please. Pardon? I wanted to apply for membership. A life membership? Uh, a uh, standards. Okay. What's your name? Uh, Sonny. Sonny? Yeah, S-O-N-N-Y. Your second name? Uh, Bashkar. Hello? Okay. Your address? Uh, it's... I just wanted to check. I was, uh, sort of on the website just, uh, just looking at membership requirements. Um... Oh yeah, I was born here, lived here all my life, but uh, I've got family who are not of white origin as well, um, and I just want to make sure that was okay. What was that you said? You got what? I've got fam, I've got some family that aren't of white origin. Right. Uh, and I just wanted to check that, that was okay. What's your contact number? Um, but is that all right? It's, it's, it's my dad's. My dad's Indian. I just wanted to check it was okay. Well, what I'll do, hold on a wee second. Give me two seconds. If you give me a contact number, I'll get somebody to give you a call back and talk you through everything. They said they'd call me back, but it's been quite a while now, and they haven't, so I'm going to give them another bell and see what is happening. There's a boy, can help you? Hi there, um, I called a while ago uh, inquiring into membership, but um, and I was told I'd be giving a call back, but it's been quite... Ages, and I just wanted to um, follow up. Sonny. Uh, yeah, speaking. Sonny, it's not been quite ages. It's been about half an hour. Alright, uh, well, I was just quite uh, interested. I hear you've actually been told by colleagues that you've been uh, ringing upstairs, uh, ringing, uh, you've been ringing a couple of times today. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to find out. I'm quite interested. You'll, get, you'll get dealt with when It'll... someone is available to phone you back, okay? Okay. Thank you, bye bye. But Sonny never got the promised call back. So why was the BNP welcoming benefit scrounging immigrants into their party but refusing membership to tax-paying British citizens? Was it possible that a party that claimed to be nationalist wasn't about nationality at all, but rather about skin colour? Surely not.
Then came the happy news that after long legal wrangling, Nick Griffin had agreed to change the party's constitution to allow non-white members. So that very day, Don't Panic decided to go down to a BNP meeting with a bunch of non-white people who were keen to find out what the party could offer them. So, British daughter, British people, wrote the BNP. Was a new era of ethnic diversity about to begin within the BNP? No such luck. We stuck out in the pub like a, well, like a bunch of non-white people at a BNP meeting. Richard Barnbrook, the BNP's representative on the GLA, came to see what the fuss was all about. It's a prime meeting when the meeting side there is closed. We're finally ready. Closed. No, it's we're finishing. <laughs> no, it's finishing. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, anyway, congratulations. It's a fantastic day for the party. Yeah, we just had the good news today. We can all join. How do you feel yeah. about the change in policy? I've no problem with it. It's a great situation. Are you kind of delighted about the... About the, the then we were all ejected from the pub. Yes, go out, you mug. Except Swedish Kesa, who they said could stay, before offering her some right wing cock. What were they saying? They said it was a bit of like right wing cock. Can you give you a little bit of right wing cock? Outside, other members seemed happy about the change in policy, and one even tried to get us into the meeting. I think they should be allowed in. No, no, this is a members' meeting, and that's it. It stays as that. You don't make the decisions, Kurt. Hello there. Hi, Hi. Hi. Yeah, but yeah, but like, yeah, yeah, got, does it make any difference? Does it make any yeah, difference? Yeah, but like, they could sign up. No, Kurt, that doesn't, oh, well, doesn't work that way. No, 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 you, you don't. don't. Unfortunately, he was overruled by the BNP's London organiser, Bob Bailey. Bob was trying to claim that it was a members meeting, but Paul, the organiser of the meeting, whose number we got from the London Patriot website, had previously told us over the phone that non-members were welcome. Perhaps he was thinking we were white. And this wasn't the only deliberately misleading information that Bob gave us. You may remember Bob from our last BNP film, trying to canvass a black girl before admitting off camera that non-whites could not join the party. But you have to be, you know, white European decent, you know, to be in the party. You know, our party has always been open yeah. to other people if they want to join. Yeah. And we've got people who are black African, we've got people who are from the West Indies, we've got Sri Lankans, exactly. we've got people from everywhere. He seemed to be floundering, aware of the need not to appear to be discriminating against us, but unable to find a valid reason for not letting us into the meeting. Because it's written in the Constitution, those people, you know, that, what, I mean, it's, it's state basically anybody who's Anglo, Kelt, and, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I don't even yeah. know what it says, you know. Most, Most of the people that, that are with I'm us, a man, a man are members, it's supposed to be <laughs> a <laughs> members <laughs> meeting. Most of, so there's people so there's who are members. members in there. Kesa, Kesa Bob is non, not British. Yeah. She, she can sign up to Job Seekers Allowance and she can get housing benefit. But she's eligible to join the BNP. Where's she from? Then? She's from Sweden. Yeah. But job stealers. But so, well, that's what I mean. She, <laughs> she is essentially. She's, she's unemployed. She, she's unemployed. She's essentially she's, she's, a scrounging immigrant. She's in, a scrounging immigrant. So why would you let well, her join the party? You shouldn't use that language. Why not? But why is she able to? Have you never used it? You've never used the word scrounging she's, immigrant. She's taken a, I wouldn't say that. Not, not in public anyway. And the elephant in the room is: Is there anything to do with our ethnicity as to why we wouldn't be let in? Yes, the elephant in the room, as always with the BNP, was ethnicity. This is the major and overriding theme in the party, not nationalism. And although they claim to be a party leading the fight against political correctness, they're surprisingly afraid to admit it. Call their bluff. If you're a non-white British person, call the BNP free phone number now on 0800 008 6191 and chat for as long as you like. Or email them at careers at bnp.org.uk and ask them if you can come along and help at any meetings or campaign days. Let's force the BNP to say what they really mean. This is my party. I don't want you in my party. And as a member, it is up to us as members whether we decide to let you people in. So, so when you say you Hang people, on a minute, hang what, on. Can you clarify? Uh, well, people that ain't like us. Our party is being forced into a position that we do not want. Can you, you can belong to anything to join you to your like. But not the BNP? You, no, you can belong to anything you like. I would like to like. belong to the BNP though. Well, we don't want you.